Hello and welcome back to the Times Leaders Beer Gang. Uh, we are here without Joe this week, uh, so I guess I'll be doing the honors of drinking the beer on camera. Um, but that said, uh, we're doing things a little bit differently this week. We've been on a bit of a streak of uh, locally made craft beers. This week we're just not doing that at all uh, as we are drinking Bush's Light Apple Beer. Uh, now. We've all already had it before, and as I'm sure you can see on everybody's faces, uh, everyone here liked it except for me. Um, and uh, I figured we should probably interrogate that a little bit. Kevin, this was your idea to get this, so let's start with you. Uh, I've always been a big fan of Bush and Bush Light, uh, and they rolled this out initially. This is, I think, the second, the second phase of the rollout. It's a limited time beer. They rolled it out, I think, earlier this year, maybe late last year, and I knew I had to snatch it up when I could, while while I could, and it, yeah, it's it's excellent. I think apple is such a good flavor. I think mm -hmm. apple flavored anything is it, it really it always really hits good for me, um, and I think that this one was just really great. Can looks great too. It kind of yeah. it kind of gives you like that, that fall autumn uh, vibe where you know it's, that's probably. Probably by design, you think a beer you drink like in the you would think, time. but I, I saw um, from the stories they introduced this for Fourth of July. This yeah, year. okay, so, so that makes sense. I, I guess like a Americana apples, you know. All that well, nothing, nothing says America like like Bushlight. <laughs> <laughs> that that is true to a certain degree. <laughs> that's what that's what they drank when they signed the, the Declaration of Independence. <laughs> <laughs> Heard it here first, folks. Um, <laughs> Lauren, what did you think of it? I really liked it. I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it makes me very excited for like fall and like autumn to come around because mm -hmm. it just, I don't know, it's just a taste of apple. It's right. Good. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, Tony, uh, while you give your ideas, I'm going to crack this open and see if I like it this time. Okay. <laughs> um, so again, when I saw it, I was like, oh, I would rather wait until at least September to drink this um, since it's apple flavored and that makes me think autumn but i will say it didn't give like an autumn apple flavor it didn't taste like natural apples um it was more of like a sour candy apple mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. taste which i want to be clear i really liked it i thought it was really refreshing um and if it did taste like regular old apples i'd probably just go for a cider um but yeah i really liked it i liked that it was on first sip it tastes just like that sour candy apple situation, yeah. not too sour, not like super tart. Um, and then the aftertaste, you can tell that you're drinking a lager, mm -hmm. um, and I really like that, so right. big fan. Yeah. Would uh, drink again. <clears throat> so I, I had one last night, and I was not the biggest fan of it. Um, however, having a few sips of it now, I think I like it a little bit more than I did before. Um, yeah. I, I will say, yeah. Uh, as as uh, Tony said, it's definitely more of like a. It feels a little bit more like an artificial sweetener, mm -hmm. like a candied apple, as opposed to just like you would expect from a straight cider. Um, but no, I, I mean, it's not my favorite thing that we've ever had here. But uh, I definitely don't dislike it as much as I thought I did before. Um, I think the apple and the beer flavors don't really mingle all too well. Like it, it kind of tastes like you have two different things going on at the same time. Um, but I don't dislike it. I don't dislike it as much as I thought I did. That's fair. I think, I think I, I kind of agree with you in that sense, but I think the apple flavor really, uh, like really highlights it. Yeah. And the, highlights the beer. I think, yeah, I think it adds to it rather than detracts from yeah, it. Yeah. And the apple kind of is, two different things. the apple is very much the first thing that you yeah, taste yeah. as opposed to like, I know some, um, uh, some other fruit beers that we've tried, uh, it's very beer forward and then the yeah. fruit comes as an aftertaste, but this is, yeah. apple is the first thing that hits you. Yeah, um, yeah it's a it's a 4.2%, I think. Uh, it's pretty low as far as uh, alcohol uh, content, uh, so, I mean, it's a, a light beer from Bush, so I wouldn't expect anything else from them. Um, if you see this and uh, it's still on the shelves, I would say pick it up. Uh, yeah, Isn't definitely it? get it while you can because I know that there's a, a very, very passionate legion of, of yes. Bush fans out there who are who are grabbing these off the shelves like crazy. I'm gonna go get myself probably a thirty rack at some point right. in the next <laughs> couple of days. So get them while you can for sure. You will not be uh, disappointed. Awesome. Give awesome. it a shot. Yeah, absolutely. Shot. Give it a shot and uh, see what you think. <clears throat> 
if you try this beer because of us, feel free to you know let us know what you think. Um, but with all that said, if you like what we do here, you know the beer gang and uh, the other content that we make here at the Times Leader, uh, and you want to continue to support us, the best way to do that is to subscribe. Uh, you can do that by giving us a call at five seven zero eight two nine five thousand, and also. Uh, as always, you know, it's good to remind you that uh, by subscribing, you are automatically entered into our TL Cares giveaway, which is a 26-week program, wherein uh, every week a randomly selected winner will receive $1,000 plus a $1,000 donation to the charity of the winner's choice, and then a uh, $25,000 grand prize at the end of it all. Uh, so if you want more information on how to uh, get involved with that, Go to our website, timesleader.com, which is probably where you already are considering yeah. you're watching this video. $1,000 is a lot of beer, and it's especially a lot of bush. Bush is cheap, and that's why I love it so much. Yeah, yeah. At, the, at that point, you're, you're getting like 10,000 cans of beer for a thousand dollars. You won't even be able to see after you drink that. No. <laughs> Absolutely not. But we will be back again next week uh, where we try a uh, an IPA from the Benny Brewing Company. So you're definitely going to want to stay tuned for that.